Stand by for the handoff to the onboard computer. Handshake has occurred. T minus 30 seconds and counting. 25 seconds. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Go for main engine. Start. Off of Space Shuttle Endeavour with another building block for the foundation of the International Space Station. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavour. Three new residents headed for the International Space Station. Endeavour completing the roll. The shuttle now in a heads down wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Endeavour's three liquid fuel man engines throttling back now in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the orbiter as it breaks through the sound barrier. Forty-five seconds into the flight, the main engine soon to begin to rev up to full throttle, 104% of rated performance. The main engines, along with the three fuel cells and three hydraulic power units, all functioning normally. Endeavour Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Jim Weatherby, joined on the flight deck by pilot Paul Lockhart, flight engineer John Harrington, and mission specialist Mike Lopez Alegria. The Expedition 6 crew, Ken Bowersox, Nikolai Budarin, and Don Pettit, seated down on the mid deck, headed for their new home in space. One minute, 22 seconds into the flight of Endeavour. The orbiter already 10 miles downrange, 13 miles in altitude, shedding its weight as it heads toward main engine cutoff targets. All of Endeavour systems in good shape, one minute, 50 seconds into the flight as we stand by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Endeavour's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently swivel, aiming the shuttle for a precise target in space. <laughs> 